Today is Monday, which means it's another bad graph Monday or misleading graph Monday, somebody suggested. But today we're gonna look at this graph. Now this graph isn't a horrible graph. However, I always remind students when making a graph to ask the question, what is this graph trying to represent? What are we trying to understand or what are we trying to betray from this graph? What I am interpreting from this graph is that the origin of food in the UK, half of it's made in the UK while the other half is not. Do we gain a better understanding of where these foods are coming from by showing each little pie here in the pie chart? I would argue no. I mean, you can see these little parts of the pie chart and the lines that point to the origin country. It's really hard to tell which country. I mean, it's there's just a jumbled mess there. I think this graph would be easier to understand if all of these countries were combined to one or maybe even just combine all of these, maybe have the top other ones here. You can see like the Netherlands, Spain, France, and then just combine all of these other ones and show, hey, this big chunk here is from all of these countries. Because I would argue that's what the chart is trying to show. Half the food consumed in the UK is from the UK, while the other half is not. On a scale of one being not that bad and 10 being absolutely horrible, I would give this like a two or a three out of 10. It's not horrible, but there's just a lot more that can be done with this graph.